finished second last season in uh, Premiership. It's Maito. How are you doing tonight, Maito? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. And we have a heavy main present with us tonight. We have Kunai, heavy, and uh, one of the leaders for Fair Enough. How are you doing, Kunai? Good. Hello, I'm doing just fine. Good, good. And last but not least, we have one of the newest faces to Prem. We have the demo man, one of the leaders for loads of Emoan, and it's Yak. How are you doing, Yak? I'm good, thanks. Right, so we guys, we have an agenda tonight. Oh, and also, not to forget, John. We have John on the production and all of the stream and everything like that. So, uh, yes, thanks to him. Hello, John. I'm not sure if he's on the mic. He's pretty shying away in the corner. But anyway, we'll get on to the agenda for today. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, and we're going to lead in with something that's possibly a little bit controversial. Um, I'll give a little bit of background for anyone who's not aware. Uh, Quintosh is a Highlander player, Premiership Highlander player, one of, the, one of the really good all-round player. He's played a lot of different classes in Prem. Uh, last season, he was demo man for Tourette's Chess Club for the majority of the season. Um, and obviously, they, they finished first in the regular season. And then playing in the grand final... Um, against Premtech, he switched over to NG, played NG for the final, was uh, subsequently given Engineer of the Season um, in the awards show, and as far as I'm aware, was set to play Soldier this season uh, for Chess Club as well. He's one of the leads of Chess Club, and he did get banned uh, for the forthcoming season. Um, so he's not allowed to play any matches for any team uh, for the next season. And... Yeah, it was because as a former anti-T admin on the ETF12 admin team, uh, he supposedly, or did, I'm not sure, um, leaked information regarding something or other. I don't know details. Um, so, yeah, people have got a lot to say about this, um, apparently. So I'm just going to open the floor. Whoever wants to talk first, just go for it. Who wants to talk first, not me? <laughs> I was going to let Scissors um, speak first. Since uh, as his captain team leader, is there anything you want to say on the situation, or do you want to, to gloss over it? Um, I don't know. I mean, I still just feel like it's such a shame. Like he was genuinely like uh, putting a big effort into helping the team this season, and he was very excited for the season. So it's really sad that something like this has to, you know, ruin it all for him. But and I still think that it's a, a very strange punishment since it's very unrelated to you know actually playing the game but um i don't know i guess i'll just you know see what people have to say and then come with my take on it i guess <laughs> i have already put out most of my thoughts on the forums about it well um i think that like i don't know what else would be an appropriate punishment like what else can they do other than take away the season like forum ban comment ban wouldn't really do much for what he did and i don't think the usual year ban would be appropriate either so i don't know i can't think of what else they'd do but what did he just to clear it up what exactly did he do or is can i see it without getting bent myself <laughs> oh, i'm sure they won't ban you scissors oh i'm gonna take the the risk um basically like we our team, in particular, had been complaining about one particular player doing something really dodgy throughout last season. Like, especially um, our Heavy has had been complaining about it. Um, we had demos of it happening and stuff, we were like talking about it. So Quintosh, you know, showed us like an 8 second video clip of the exact uh, thing we were talking about. Like, we all knew about this, we were the ones who discovered it to begin with, like. And he showed us this. Uh, and uh, rumors started spreading then that there was a video of this, and uh, the guy got a hold of it and posted it on the forums, as far as I know. And yeah, then Quintosh got banned. <laughs> it's pretty much what happened. Oh, okay, cool. that's your side of the story, anyway. That's what how I heard it at least. I, I would be nice to have someone like Cal to confirm deny, but take rid of their peer. They don't have a PR admin anymore, so can't comment. I'll give you my view because I've got a lot to say. Personally, I don't actually like Quintosh very much as a player or a person. No way. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think he's a very, very nice player. He spams a lot of binds, talks a lot of trash. 
He likes um, you a lot, by the way. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's certainly a lot of rumours about him. But I won't go into that. But that being said, I don't think he should be banned. ETF2L well, is pretty unjustified. It's harsh. And he's he's missing the season. He can confidential anti-cheat information. Um, I read a comment on ETF2L about, about it. About um, it. Somebody said the funniest thing on here is that etf actually have confidential confidential information, and I laughed <laughs> really hard at that because uh, being on the etf 2 staff before, I can tell you the culture of leaking in the etf 2 isn't very new, particularly. Uh, I could almost guarantee every admin on staff will have done it at some point, just casually to their friends. I could certainly have done it myself, and I've been caught twice. I used the word caught. They probably banned me for a season for saying this, but I don't Please think do. it's justified. I'm pretty yeah, sure it's... Johnny Bambo is way above it. What are you trying to say, Yak? He's a good man. Okay, well, I won't get a confession out of you. Uh, I personally think the ETF tell they just make up the rules when they go along a lot of the time. There's no actual guideline or policy towards leaking. There's no punishment put down in writing. There's no guidance about it. Um, so basically, they're just banning people for stuff they don't like, making up the punishments as they go along, which it would be, it would be fine if they had it in black and white there for you. Do do this, don't do that. But and this is the punishment. Like in the forum, they have something like that that works. But if you if you're going to ban Quintosh for leaking AC information, you probably have to ban every admin that there ever was. If you ask me, or or you have to decide where do you draw the line on the subject. Maybe releasing confidential anti cheat information is a bad thing. You should ban everybody for that, or or do you ban everybody for leaking information about um, who's the sponsor for next season or the new new league system, which I got told off for, for leaking information about the Swiss system? So so where do you draw the line, really? Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, nobody should be banned because who actually really cares that much? It's just a very small game. It's too casual. This league is far too amateurish to pretend it has business banning people for leaking stuff. So, my opinion, really. And I'm aware of the irony, CJ, that I might get banned for saying it. Um, yeah, I was just reading. So I was just reading the stream chat. Uh, Kautu is actually posting in the chat at the moment. He says Quintosh got banned because he leaked evidence from an ongoing investigation. So, um. Yeah, it says Hill Dog knows AC evidence isn't what league admins are allowed to share at any point. So, I mean, I guess it, you've got to look at it from the point of view of it is an ongoing investigation. Does that cause any problems for the people trying to nail someone who's possibly cheating? And when it's kind of anti cheat stuff, is that more serious than any other sort of leaks? I suppose it depends on the point of view. Well, I don't know really if they have anything specific guidelines towards anti cheat admins. But there's a certain, there's, you have to draw a line somewhere. They don't draw, they haven't drawn a line anywhere for admins and how they behave themselves. So it's a more, it's a more sensitive su subject. If they want to be taken seriously and they want to ban people for lengthy times for leaking information, then they've got to have it clear as day in writing. I mean, I mean, it's TF2 at the end of the day. It's, it's far too small of a game. On, and if you leak information about an ongoing case and you you uh, you give somebody the impression that they're being watched and followed, then you know, that's not that's not a good thing necessarily. But the evidence should still exist. So it's it's really difficult there. But but then where do you stop with the punishment? Because you can you can leak information about all sorts of things. If it's specific to anti cheat, then and they want to ban people for it, that's fair enough. But but if they ban people for leaking information about small things that don't really matter at the end of the day, that's where you've got to draw the line. So I think it's very harsh to ban him for a month. I've never seen anybody be banned for something like this before. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. I, I kind of agree with that. Like, um, you know, it's it's very difficult also to like put you know more clear lines on this because it is not you know you know it's not something that you 
can really take into account happening, you know. I don't know, it's difficult. And also, it makes it even more difficult, like, it's very hard for me, for example, to accept, because I think the nature of the leak is so, you know, it's so insignificant, because basically what he leaked was an eight-second clip of something we've, we'd all seen happening, something we all have uh, demos of ourselves happening. Like, it was you, basically just... Uh, are you 100% sure it's that? Um, I don't see what else it could be, because uh, I know that the <clears throat> Cherry sent the video to someone else, and that's how it got out that he had showed it to us. Uh, uh, so I'm pretty sure I just said one, otherwise it wouldn't be kind of so strange. You're saying, you're saying Cherry is guilty of leaking as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ben Cherry, please. No, but the... Like, we're obviously not blaming Cherry because he couldn't have known that it would have consequences to share something that sh really shouldn't be a big deal. Since, literally, like, we all have demos of this happening. Like, it, it was nothing special. It's, yeah, it's just ridiculous in my opinion. But... Yeah, I agree with Scissors. I don't know. Do you guys got any more comments on it? I want to know what my two thinks. If they do a fundraiser, they should make it the top level uh, donation perk. Find out why Quintosh was banned. That's a good idea. I think Kalsa can get on that. Should be more conspiracy theories on the forums. I'm disappointed there's not more. I'll start yeah. some for you, CJ. <laughs> the the Finns are being very quiet. Maito and Kunai, have you got anything to say? No, I, I got actually no idea what's going on. I was just reading the thread and it's like, why? What? Quintus got banned alright because of like 10 seconds clip. And that's about it. There's yeah, probably it. more, but uh, I, I really don't know. And I can't tell that I care, to be honest. It's just so fishy. Um, I think Maito might have fallen asleep. Maito. No, oh, I don't have anything. It's really this late for Maito. That's fair enough. No, I don't understand. Says, I mean... says I could tell everything, but I didn't get invited on the show. But you have to be Prem, Kautu, before you can get invited on the show. Ooh, the shit talk's Sorry. starting early. <laughs> we, haven't even hit, we haven't even hit the rosters yet. Um, we're going to move on then. Um, so, yeah. Move on from onto some more interesting stuff, perhaps. Um, talking about the rosters for the upcoming season. So we've got eight teams in Prem. Uh, just to go over them quickly, we've got Tourette's Chess Club, obviously, who won last season. Uh, Prem Tech, who finished second last season. It's their second season in uh, Prem this season. Uh, High Panda in their fourth season. One in season six, second in season five, and third last season. Fair enough. Uh, I believe it's their third season in Prem, second under this name. Um, and then we've got the newcomers. We've got Wasp, uh, Unpoppable, the two Russian teams. We've got loads of emo. And, oh, and I can't forget Stacked. Sorry, Stacked as well. It's uh, mm -hmm. lo loads of money. Loads of money. Everyone Sorry. says it wrong. Everyone says it wrong because it's a silly name. That's why, Yak. Um, <laughs> on, uh, also Stacked. We've got Stacked, who are in their third season as well. So I'm, I'm going to go down from the from the top down. So sorry, Yak, you're going to be here uh, later on. Um, Scissors, do you want to talk to us about your lineup? Um, and just give a confirmation on who's playing what. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, as some of you may know, we lost uh, our scouts, our Sully and our medic, and uh, we just recently finished, uh, you know, uh, finished the roster. And uh, on scout, we brought Lacey Bear back from the grave. Uh, and uh, as you may know, we also had Quintosh and Sully originally, where we moved him from NG uh, and picked up Cherry. But unfortunately. He cannot play Sully anymore for some reason. Uh, so that's what we are trialing right now. We don't have anyone who can main Sully for us right now, despite having like three different people on our roster that are capable of it. But uh, yeah. And then we picked up uh, Roban on Medic. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Otherwise, the, the rest is still the same. One thing I didn't want to ask you was like, things people talk about in sort of sports teams and stuff like once you're at the top you can't just be satisfied with the team you've got you've got to keep sort of improving and a lot of these changes are saying like people have left and and things like that did you plan to kind of revamp the roster or were you planning on keeping much the same or did you have improvements sort of in mind towards the end of last season 
I really liked that team, and I think everyone liked that team. We had some good times. We, you know, it was a great team. It was fun to play. Uh, unfortunately, though, some internal stuff happened, and uh, yeah, you know, like I'm, I don't want to go too much into detail about it, but uh, this is not how any of us really wanted it to play out, but it was necessary to to do this. Uh, so it's, yeah, like originally we only planned. Or not planned, but we got rid of our medic originally, and uh, then something else happened, and our Sully ended up leaving, and because he left, our scout ended up leaving. So it was not planned that we would make such a big uh, roster shake up, but it ended up happening anyways. I think we came pretty, you know, good out of it though. So yeah. Are you guys confident that like you can you can keep hold of the the title this season? Expecting um, it to be more difficult this season with sort of maybe people targeting you as the favorites. I don't know. I mean, I I guess I've said it said this every season, but I feel like the overall level in Prem is lower this season than it was last season. Maybe I will be proven wrong. Uh, and at the same time, I still feel like the top teams are slightly weaker than they were at least at the peak last season. But I'm sure that will change as well. But I don't know, I feel like our roster has pretty much been upgraded on uh, in all positions this season, so uh, if we get along well and we keep, you know, having the uh, the drive to play, I'm sure we can win again. Cool, I'm just going to open the floor to everyone else. Like, does anyone have any comments about Chess Club? I mean, Scissors is here, he's a big man, he can take, he can take the ship to talk face to face. <laughs> um, is there anything like, how do you guys see Chess Club? Do you see the changes in their roster as like, a chance? Are they getting weaker in your eyes? Are they getting stronger? Like, how are you going to approach them? Sort of things like that. Hildreth, maybe I'll start with you, seeing as, you know, you guys were close to them last season. Oh, well, close in what way? That's what you're going to say. Uh, well, maybe you should have won Prem and you didn't. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say in a nice way. <laughs> I don't really know. So the whole drama with the shape up on their team is a bit it's a, it's a bit strange, but at the same time, my chess club have picked up some good players to replace them. Um, having Quintosh and that's probably a blessing in disguise, maybe, on Soldier, do you think? No? Who did you guys get on Soldier to replace him yet? Um, well, since it happened so recently, we haven't uh, really gotten anyone. But we have some people in mind. Um... It's not Mookie, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe? Nah, he, he is yeah. one of them, I guess I can reveal that. But, uh, yeah. My, I don't know, I hope that Captain will be willing to main when he's done with Sixes. I really like playing with Captain. He's a great player, a great guy as well. So that's my, you know, hope so far, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm excited to see Lazy Bear back with his two MVP awards. So how, has he got two MVP? No, one MVP award. He's got more than that because he got player of the season at one point, didn't he? That's right, he's yeah. got about four. He's got a lot of collades. Two scouts of the season awards. Don't know how old deserve they are, but Lazy Bear back on form is going to be difficult to play against. He's actually the highest awarded player in uh, Highlander. He's got four. Closest to him is Shadowburn with three. How oh, you've done your research for your game, CJ? I can tell. Uh, I don't know who the medic is, but it seems all right. When we chest look pretty strong when we PCW, so I expect them to be probably the favourites. Um, I know. Being aw awfully quiet, how yeah. do you, um, seeing as you guys were the last team to play a chess club in a sort of actual competitive game last season, um, do you guys see? Do you see them as stronger being this season or, or weaker? I think it's a downgrade. Like, they shouldn't have kicked Spray at all. And I don't know, Lazy Bear is a beast, but I think it's a, still a downgrade from the last season. Well, I mean, like I said, the team was good, but unfortunately, some internal issues became a problem. So, I mean, it's not like. Uh, the the players were not good enough. We, like I said, we kind of had to do it this way, unfortunately. So you know, it's easy to say that you didn't think we should do it, but you probably would if you knew 
what yeah. was going on behind I've heard. behind the scenes. <laughs> Um, unless anyone's, anything, anyone's got anything else to say um, about Chess Club, we can we can move on. I was actually um, wanted to say that if Mookie is not gonna join, who is your second chance on Soldier? Um, well, actually, our main guy is Captain, who is already on our roster. He's done playing six or seven, so he, hopefully he'll be or be wanting to commit because, like I said, I really like playing with him. Let me see if I can think of. It's Captain Mookie and I don't actually remember remember who I think we have one more, but I don't remember who it is unfortunately. So yeah. Those two guys. Oh oh I remember now it's a uh, puzzle. If you know Oh what. yeah, puzzle, yeah, I know puzzle. He's gonna try making a bit of a comeback and I really hope that would happen as well. He's such a great guy to be honest. Um, and I think that he and Lacey Bear on the flank could be so good. Um, Definitely. Look, Lacey Bear is just a beast. He's so annoying yeah. to play against. So good. <laughs> and he's also really great to have on the team. He's a positive guy. He's He knows how to play. He has lots of experience. He makes the calls and stuff. Just a great teammate. And adding puzzles to the team would, you know, make it even more enjoyable. Okay, um, thanks. Uh, we're going to move on now. I'm going to talk about, um, we'll talk to Maito about Premtech. So, um, Maito, you guys, I think the most, uh, the, the biggest kind of omissions from your roster that um, people will know about is Saini is uh, quitting competitive TF2, I've heard. So he won't be playing Sniper anymore. And um, Shadowburn, I believe, has joined Unpoppable. He played for them in the Prem playoffs. Um, and those two guys picked up a bunch of awards, sort of Sniper of the Season, Soldier of the Season, Shadowburn was kind of Player of the Season. Um, so, so what's your roster looking like at the moment? And, uh, and you know, how do you feel about the changes? So, yeah, first of all, that's kind of false since we had Chuso, Shadowburn and Zaini quitting for work and studies. And now Zaini is back, or kind of back. So... Let's start with the scout. As Zuzo is no longer playing, we've got Atomic on scout now, and Ubes on Soli. So that's kind of robbery from Chess Club. Then on Pyro, we still got Ascendari, me on Demo, Kresnik on Heavy, Cobbs on Engineer, Nursey on Medic, and Trake and Zaini are playing 50-50 on the sniper now, I think. And Polar is still on Spy. That's oh, all. So my information is totally wrong. Yet. And uh, your roster hasn't changed much at all. So, um, how do you feel? How do you guys feel like coming into the season? Because last season, sort of, you had the thing on your um, on your ETF twelve profile saying you wanted to aim sort of top three in a uh, in Prem in season seven, and you guys essentially went within one map of winning Prem. You know, you, you took a map off Chef's Club in the final, and there was just one map in it to decide the winner. Do you guys feel that like you can go one step further and and win, or do you think you know? You guys are gonna. Is, is do you have any other aims? Do you just aim for the playoffs and see what happens? Of course, we could do it, and this season again. But unfortunately, reservoir. And this season, they aren't reservoir, but the maps just seem to be unfortunate again. I don't know. At We're least the playoffs. Talk about, yeah, we'll talk about the maps later. Actually, that's uh, that's on one of the things. But yeah, sorry, carry on. No, that's about it. If we will get the playoffs. We'll start getting better again, but the regular season, we just finished our roster like last Sunday, so it might be a bit struggling on the start now. And let's see, since we got like high and on second weekend, tough stuff at the start already. Okay, does anyone else have anything to talk about? Um, and Prem Tech, do you guys see them? Yeah. As <laughs> Ooh. It was actually like, when oh, this wow. all happened, when this all happened, it's like, I checked your roster maybe yesterday, and Chaney wasn't there. So when did Chaney join? Because I was just about to ask, like, what's going to happen to Prem Day when Chaney is gone? Or what? Oh, yeah, that, well, all, all of us first thought that Chaney is, like, totally quitting TF2, but it seems like you can never quit TF2. Same happened with Shadowburn, kind of earlier, and now 
choose an element just similar with totally for studies and that's confirmed but Zaini is kind of unsure still I don't know if he's gonna play the full season or not if he's gonna play or not but at least this week he's playing yeah and I was um I just wanted to ask like how is Kersnik and uh, Nursey like how does their how do you how does your screaming times fit for them they're Americans like do they have to wake up really early or what times you guys are screaming or yeah, was it just use... yeah it's, yeah nothing just continue okay I usually have to remind them like every time we have PCB because most of the times Nursey doesn't wake up or something stupid happens and well they have to wake up early but they yeah. are usually able to do it that is just some dedication to play as American in Europe League wake up early and play in Highlander it's a bad combination yeah some respect yeah, I used to do that before, yeah, in America wake up early or stay up really late and play, play the Highlander it's not recommended I would have to say I I was just going to ask about your team. So picking up Ubers and Atomic from Chess, when you saw that they had left my two, how how sort of delighted were you to see that available for you, considering you lose in Shadowburn, your best player from last season, and your Jay Jorso, who's actually he actually did pretty pretty well for you guys. Yeah, well, I don't know. No one can really replace Shadowburn, but this new flank here has been working now. And I think we will deal with it. What do you What do you think, Scissors? Um, well, I definitely know that the Atomic and Ubers are a good flink. They are certainly a very different flink from the one they had last season. 